Uh, but we are here right now, and we are here with the lovely Helen. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Thank ho, you. Ho, ho. Yes. Ho, ho, ho. We're ready for Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Are you really? <laughs> You have to, though, as a crafter, you have to be ready for Christmas. That's what it's all about. Oh, we've got a great show lined up. You know, the last time I did the show with you, I was blown away. I was, was good, absolutely but... amazed at what you bring us. Um, you. We've got so much on the show, but just very briefly, Helen, tell us about yourself and tell us about your craft. Um, right, so precious metal clay. Mm. I probably discovered precious metal clay nearly 20 years ago. Ooh, yeah, it probably was by that time. When you were um, about... Oh, Three yes, absolutely, old. nursery school. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's just a great medium. So the thing that, it, what I like about it is that you can do all of it yourself and you've got something that's got an inherent value. It will always be real silver. Uh, and, and also these things are some things you can wear. Um, you know, they just don't go out of fashion, really. Mm. How, you know, how can you not have enough jewellery? <laughs> if you've ever been in the situation where you think, I really need a new necklace or bracelet, or you're looking for that special ring, and you can't find it anywhere. Now you can make it yourself. Yes, you can. You wait till you see the demonstrations. Right, let's start right here at our very first item for you. It is 698447. This is your precious metal clay studio. This is your silver clay and it's your essentials kit. Now, Helen, tell me what we're getting here for our £19.95, which is exceptional value for money when you see what you're getting. Right, so what it is, is basically just basic things to get you started. So the way that we set up these things is that you've got a, a number of products, so you can just add to them as you need to. So you don't have to buy absolutely everything and find that you get a kit when you get home and you go, well, actually, I don't need all of it. So you just get absolutely what you need. So here you've got things like uh, the Badger Balm, the Release Balm. Now, it's really important um, uh, what you use, and it's a release agent for your hands and for your texture mats and Things because you know you want don't you don't want the clay to stick to anything and waste it no. so in the badger bomb what it is the important thing about it is that when you because you're mixing that into the silver and then we're going to be firing the silver which will, I will demonstrate later so it's really important that what you mix into the clay doesn't have an effect on the silver later you don't want your pieces to fall apart okay. so you know never use anything like Vaseline or anything like that so the badger bomb is really good it doesn't affect the chemical structure of the silver during firing you've got your work mat that's got loads of handy grids on it it's also handy if you're transporting things to dry you might not make your piece all in one day yeah. so and you don't want to drop it so it's a really good place so you've got the teflon there the pmc that's the, that's your basic work for surface um mm. PMC will never stick to it. That will last you years and years. And again, it's a really handy work surface to work on. Then you've got your paintbrush. Always have a paintbrush and water yes. to hand. You've got your clay sculpting tool and just a bit of sandpaper just to get a really neat finish. So we'll be using all of those today. Perfect. And you can see some samples right here of some of the rings that Helen has made. Uh, and every time Helen comes into the studio, I try and sneak out with one or more. <laughs> I uh, know, it, it I never count works. them. <laughs> <laughs> it never works, but it, they are so gorgeous and they're so bespoke to you and that's what rings should be about that's what jewelry should be about whether it's a gift for yourself or whether it's a gift for someone else uh, it makes it unique it makes it special and of course it's handmade so just think of the possibilities of selling these on so your essential kits uh, if you want to go for these uh, I think are absolutely gorgeous. Of course, these these are what you can make. You're not getting these. You don't have to make your own, I'm afraid. <laughs> but we are giving you everything you need to make and create. So if you want to get a hold of this, 698447. Right, we've got more for you on the show. We'll move on, if that's okay. Uh, we're just moving on to this. Now, this is fabulous. I love this. And this gives us a chance to add a little bit of texture. It adds a bit of texture. So that's really your next step there. So you've got your roller and spacers. Now, the important thing is, is that you want to use enough clay that your piece is strong, but not too much that you're wasting the silver. So with these spacers, um, I'll demonstrate them later as well, that means that you're rolling the clay to the right thickness and you get this lovely um, rubber texture mat and a brass plate with it. So the brass plate is actually 
piece of solid brass and again these things will last you forever I've had texture mats more than 20 years uh, and you know they're just really great to use so again use that with the badger balm you rub it on so you roll out onto the brass plate so you get a lovely subtle texture on the back of your pieces and then you use the rubber mat on the front of it so it's just a way to get you into texturing and I'm sure most crafters will have uh, some other textures yes. at home that they can use as well but you know it's the way to get you started yeah so that is 113 631 24 pounds and 99 pence uh, it is one of the essentials we'll talk about the silver value of your projects in a moment's time I just want to get through everything that we've got available on the show and then we're going to give you some great demonstrations now Ho, ho, ho. And I mean I know, that. I know, I know. I mean that in the nicest possible way. <laughs> You're wearing the ho, ho, ho top. We're going for it here at Hochanda, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Christmas. We've got a great Christmas promotion on at the moment. If you buy anything during the show, you'll get a £5 credit to spend on items of the value of £30 or more tomorrow. So if you've got that voucher from yesterday and you're buying collectively on the show today, if anything comes to £30 or more, you can use that voucher. Yeah, I know, it's good, isn't it? So we're talking about Christmas um, and this would make an ideal Christmas gift. I thought it was really cute. It's like, you know, in the middle of summer, you're trying to create a Christmas project and I thought, well, what is something that we haven't done on the show? Because I try and do a little project that's different to each show that we do, so you can always go back to it. Um, so here's a little Christmas tree and what it does is it uses the, the snake roller. Um, I think we've done it, sort of a version of it, um, one of the very first shows when we did a harp. But here's a little Christmas tree. It's a great way to get your technique going. It uses a small amount of clay and and uh, everybody loves a few gemstones, so a bit of bling, so I'll just put a few gemstones in it. But once you've got this technique, of course, you can do different shapes as well. But I thought the Christmas tree turned out quite a nice little project. It's yeah. lovely, isn't it? I, I love this. I really, really do. And you've been shopping ahead for this. You smart people. I know, some people already ordered it before yeah, the shows know. went out. <laughs> it is delightful. £28.99. pence. Now, as a personalised gift to somebody, it's so, so extra special. And this is something that people will keep with them. And it could be something that somebody will hand down to someone else in the family. Because you do have that silver value in here. Yes, Can we just it's briefly talk about silver. the silver value? Yes, it is, yes. And, and of course, I also want to add is that, you know, this piece can be fired with a torch as well. So the gemstones are fireproof. Right. So, so that's really important. And you get the gemstones included yeah. as well in yes. the kit, as well yeah. as the necklace itself. Yeah. Everything, ne everything you need. Yeah, you've got the whole thing start to finish you've got your snake roller you've got the silver you know and and you know you can make the whole finished piece as such which i think is always a nice thing to do well you know what helen already 10 percent of the stock has gone of this if you want to get hold of it so you can make and create and give us a gift the, the, the person's face when when they open the box and see this christmas day uh, will be amazing uh, 483692 is your item number oh hang on a minute Father Christmas is coming in. He's going to buy one for Mrs. Christmas. Uh, oh, Merry Christmas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you... I like that I, one. I do love my Christmas cracker I've jokes. I've never thought of that one before. <laughs> Merry <laughs> Christmas. Father Christmas is mine. No, no, you're not. <laughs> This is I so bad, isn't steal it? That. It's, uh, it's so early in the morning. We're doing well. <laughs> we are doing very well, aren't we? Uh, right, now, um, in order to fire up, we need a flame, and this is going to be ideal for that. What do we have here? So here we've got a little uh, butane gas torch and uh, I've got my one with me. So it's refillable with just lighter fuel gas. Really simple. It comes with a stand. You just ignite it. You can adjust the flame. And it means that anything the size and thickness of a 50 pence piece, you can torch fire yourself. And you've got a, a block here. So you've got your torch block so that, you know, it's safe to do. Um, I'll be demonstrating it with a, a tile underneath. I'm sure most people have got a tile and otherwise your local tile shop is very uh, you're usually very pleased to get rid of some excess uh, demonstration pieces That's so you can get free yeah. tile at your local tile shop so just sort of built in braces but you know it's really just handy to get you started I think that is an exceptional price uh, and I can't actually believe it's that price because I'd probably pay something around 30 pounds for that so 
17 pounds and 49 pence great price but if you're a freedom member it gets even better it's only 15 pounds and 74 pence it's essential if you get that you get the block you're good to go you can start making and creating you wait till you see that demonstration uh, right now in order to make your silver really stand out you need this polishing kit don't you Helen? yeah I did a really really simple polishing kit you know yes you can go and buy more fancy things but just to get you started these are just the basics that you need so you've got the rubber block which is just really good to support your piece especially your wrists if you're doing a lot of polishing you've got arthritis or you know you don't want to sort of really put a lot of strain on it so you've got a little brass brush so today we're going to use that with a little bit of water uh, there is a, an agate burnisher to get that high shine and actually that's a really nice little tool it's slightly smaller than the one I have but the tip is the same and you've got some uh, an impregnated here silver polishing cloth just to to finish it all up and also um, you know PMC shouldn't tarnish and yeah. um, if it does it tends to be because of the perfume or hairspray mm -hmm. or something like that and you can just polish it quickly yeah. back with some silver polish there love this i really do you wait till you see this in action we're going to go over there in a moment's time if you want to get hold of this it's 813073 uh, again an incredible price 17 pounds and 49 pence but of course uh get this into your basket if you're going for other items in the show if your basket comes to 60 pounds or more excluding your pmp you can open up a flexi order and a flexi order means we will split the cost into two for you so it makes it affordable right so we've got this fabulous book uh, i'm going to pick this up if that's okay so I can flick through the pages um, just to show you because Oh, there's some lovely inspiration in here. This really is. Um, so tell us about this book. Uh, it's a book. It's a book. We don't have a huge stock of these ones, uh, and it's a really get a really. It's a lovely book. It's a. I, think, I can't remember how many. I think it's 140 pages or something. So it's a real book, and it has some really nice projects in it. It's nice inspirations, beautifully illustrated, and you know there might be so you can see what sort of other things you can do with precious metal clay as well. Um, you know, if you've got to be, we've got ring making in there. Um, um, the rings that we saw earlier, actually, that colour is uh, bits of concrete, concrete, oh, really? coloured concrete set into PMC. You know, gemstones, moulding, um, all the different things. And it's sometimes nice just to, to refer in these to these things, um, you know, and expand your knowledge mm. at home. We've done the moulding, so people that bought the moulding compound in the last show, again, they will find projects in this as well love this because as a clay uh, you know you can mold it uh, you can add design i mean look at that yep. that's incredible yep. you can carve into the dry clay yes yeah love it uh, if you want to get hold of this book it is uh, we don't have many of them we don't have many of them it's very very limited 15 pounds and 99 pence and already 20 percent of the stock has gone i think it's fabulous because you've got your inspiration in there you've got your projects ready to go and if anybody wanted to copy anything in here is that okay for them to do that uh, Yes, well, it is a diff copyright is a difficult thing because you obviously you, you don't want to copy something exactly. Okay. But you'll find that, you know, as any craft, you get going with it and you tweak your designs yes. anyway. So you'll be tweaking things. You'll be making it in PMC Flex that might have been done in, in PMC 3 a few years ago. So, it, you know, it will always be different anyway. So I don't think you really have to worry yeah. about that. It's going to yeah. give you the inspirational. Uh, right, uh, then moving on, we have got right here the clay. This is where the magic starts to happen. Your precious metal clay silver. Now, if you want to go for this, 16.7 grams you are getting, and it's 31 pounds and 99 pence. So something like this, Helen, what could we make out oh, of that? You could make about, I would say, about four or five pieces. What, what the nice thing about having a larger pack of clay is that you get the rolling distance. So if you're really smart and work with negative space, so you cut, say, the center out of a piece, yeah. then you can make actually quite a lot of large silver pieces without actually using Using much silver mm -hmm. so if you're going to make some say you're going to make a pendant earrings get that pack of clay roll your pendant out first so your biggest piece first yep. and then with your leftovers you can make yourself a pair of earrings and probably a charm so you probably get about four or five pieces out of that easily perfect yeah. 31 yeah. pounds and 99 pence exceptional value when you see what it makes and creates oh. uh, we've also got a filing set for you why would we want this Helen it is it, it's one we've put it back in the show because it's it's a, just a great tool. I think that's an absolute essential tool. And, and what's great about this one is you get all the drill bits with it, which fit the collet beautifully. The top comes off, so you can actually keep your drill bits in the barrel so you don't lose them. You don't have to hunt around your craft room seeing where were those drill bits again. 
and we've got also the files with it. So it comes with a set of four different shape files. So it does two things at once. So it's great value because you've got all the drill bits, all the filing, and you're good to go, really. Amazing value for money. £22 for 49 pence. 459571. Yes, you can be making silver and selling it. Personalised yes. silver. I know how much rings can be. This one here on my finger that I was bought for my birthday, £90. I could make this. Yes, you can easily make that. Yes. yes. And now you're making <laughs> me feel really bad because you're going... <laughs> You should have made it in the first yeah, place. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> well, it wouldn't have been a present then, no, isn't it? Exactly. No, exactly. And so, I yeah. did have this before we first met. Yeah. Right. Uh, OK, on the book, we're up to half the stock already. Uh, this is an incredible show. Please stay with us because we've got some great demonstrations coming up. And uh, you'll need to rub your eyes because you won't be able to uh, believe what you're seeing. Uh, let's take a look at the website because we do have more available for you. Um, we've got freedom prices as well. So if you want to go for that uh, firing kit, uh, £17.49, but there's a freedom price on that, making it even better. Very busy for the book, lots of inspiration, lots of guidance in there as well. Extremely busy, over half the stock of that book has gone. You do need to get your PMC, it stands for Precious Metal Clay. Uh, and this is your Flex Silver Clay, 16.7 grams, only £31.99. Think of all the different things you're going to make. Those personalised rings, those pendants, those earrings. How about a very, very special charm with somebody's initials in? Maybe some texture to a brooch that you're making. Again, it's all bespoke to you, all bespoke to your client or to the person you're making it for. Right, Helen, can we see some magic? I call it magic anyway. <laughs> I know. This show, we do sort of things a bit back to front. We, don't, yes. we do the, the bits we like the most first, and then we sort of add in the project. Yes. So what have we done to this? So today, this so, so again, this is the block that we looked at earlier. Obviously, as you can see, mine has been used a lot over the years. And there's also a great base for using that hand drill. So it doesn't matter if you can drill into it. As you can see with my little holes into it, it means you've got a base to drill into it. So just a really handy thing to do. So this is a fired piece, and, and we'll be firing something you know later on the show so now we talked about this earlier so apart from what's santa's wife's name yes. yeah why is silver white why what why is silver white actually? yes there you go that's another one the pup quiz we're going to do so well aren't why we is silver white? <laughs> so silver is naturally white so when it's mined it's naturally white and by smoothing the surface it becomes to our eyes tell us or our brain tells us that it's it's shiny so there's absolutely nothing on this the fact that it's white all we're doing is m smoothing the surface so this clay has been fired this has been fired so clay and obviously metal called clay. yeah it's been fired and that's all we've done to okay. it yeah yeah so i'm going to so from the little basic kit we've got a brass brush so with the brass brush the best thing to do is use a little bit of water on it you can put a little bit of washing up liquid in it and then what you're going to do is smooth the surface with the brush so the, the brass gives it the initial surface so you can already see that it's starting to go a silver color there we go and i'll just use a bit of water onto it can we show it half and half oh okay. oh yeah, yes yeah we a, can do that so, so you see yeah. here can you see that starting to form so you've got the white silver on one ah. side and then the silver comes up well at camera doesn't it yeah it does Oh, imagine making and selling that. Silver! Right, sorry, carry on. Yeah, so carry on. So, so do that. I find it oh, we might leave the half enough because it comes up so well. And then the next stage is our, our, our um, agate burnisher. Now, you can get a cheaper a metal burnisher, but once you've worked with these, they're just really nice okay. tools to use. So I always say buy the right tool for the job yeah. rather than buy lots of them. And then what you're doing with this is you're using it like a colouring in pencil. So all you're doing is compacting it further as you can see, and it's, can you see, it's done coming shiny on there. Now, let me do the edge. The edge is probably easier to see. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Uh, ah, so oh, you can see wow. So, so I'll do a bit more. And... Can you see that shine coming up? Now, one would think you would need, like, an industrial machine that whizzes round at 100 miles an hour yeah. and you wear big gloves and goggles and you... And it's noisy. You, know, you can't, you know... You don't. But it's really therapeutic. I think mm. working with PMC is really nice because it's a very quiet thing to do. Mm. You don't need a lot of kit. It doesn't take up a lot of space. You know, it doesn't go off. It doesn't go out of fashion. Um, so you can, you can do a piece, you know, and come back to it another time, you know, or... 
sometimes people have that, you know, they, they discover it, then they have children and go, oh no, I haven't got time for this. Or you can make a piece and then come back to it the next day. I've, I've done a ring in there where I made the ring band and a year later I got round to doing the top. <laughs> it makes no difference. Oh, so I don't know if you can see this. Can't you? Because, it, for example, yeah. uh, if you were to make a ring, uh, like this, here's mm. a, here's a lovely uh, ring with 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 texture on it. Yes, uh, so you sure. could make this, mm. uh, which looks lovely, and you think to yourself, "That's a nice ring. I'm going to wear that for a while." But you know what? I need to add something to it, and then you just add something to it, don't you? Yeah, like this that, is probably which what is it, brilliant, yeah. um, which is great. Excuse my um, rusty hands, by the way. I've been doing lots of gardening. <laughs> uh, probably not the best for displaying jewellery, but now that's on my finger. I don't actually think I can get that off. Oh, so yes, that's one that's coming out <laughs> with me from the studio. Uh, it's lovely though, isn't it? It is. And that's a good point that you just made actually because you can fire PMC as many times as you mm. want. So you can fire two pieces separately, then join them and fire them again. You, as you can say, you can make the ring, add something, fire it again. And if you fired something and you're not quite sure, you can fire it as many times as you want. In fact, the more times you fire it, the better because some an, an element of the burner a binder gets burnt away mm. so it just becomes more pure that's all can I share another lovely lovely idea and that if you see this love heart here I don't know why I hold it like that it always makes people <laughs> um, tell us what's in there Helen so that is just a, a little fingerprint so um, the, the curvy hearts are really handy we've got some heart cutters as well so you're talking about here actually only about three or four um, grams of silver so you basically roll the clay out like with the kit that you've got and you can just press a child's fingerprint in it and actually that that's my daughter Catherine as you can see um, yes um, and if you've got uh, you know an, an adult with a larger finger then you can just use their little finger um, and then you just sort of push it in and then it just has it's just nice to have something that's actually touched by them it's mm. not copied it's not stamped in it's actually their actual fingerprint which is lovely and there's nothing more unique than a fingerprint yeah so that is such a lovely lovely idea yeah. and so you said that this was three grams it's only about three or four grams it's a really it's interesting because this one I think here comes up at about two or something two or three it's about two grams this one and then you see here with the little um, hand in it now also on the website is the liver of sulfur gel so what you can do then is if you want to raise some texture you just get a little cotton wool bud and rub the little bit of liver of sulfur gel in it and then you can raise that print uh, like you can see in the handwriting and then the name Catherine there then it just raises the print it just darkens it and any excess you've got your little silver polish you can just polish that away isn't that fantastic? Yeah, it's absolutely love this, and you're loving it as well. <laughs> you're a silver It's smith. very addictive. It's yes, very addictive. It we is always very say addictive. that. Uh, so. It is an incredible product, and if you want to go for the polishing block that we just demonstrated at the moment, um, the one that Helen is using, she has used. Oh yours gosh, comes um, nice and clean. It and just <laughs> shows how much mine's been used, isn't yeah. it? It does. These <laughs> things just last forever. That's the um, thing. Yeah. Well, this, this, this <laughs> is it. So if you want to go for this, and you're getting the mini silver polishing cloth and you are getting the brass brush as well, yeah. which I say is where the magic starts. It's not magic, yes, yeah. of course. It's the, it's the agate burnisher, that, that's the, the one that you'll really love. It's just yeah. a really nice tool to use, and it gets into everything as well. You know, it's just a really nice, um, nice thing to use. Right. Uh, £17 and 49 pence. It is great value for money if you want to go for this. 813073. Uh, so that's, we, we're kind of working a little bit in reverse because we <laughs> yeah. wanted to show you instantly what it looks like after the clay has been set. Mm -hmm. uh, but should we take a look at how we actually get to that point or shall we go down the counter and show you? Right, that will be our next demo. Whilst you get ready for that, I'm going to remind everybody what we've got on the show, if that's okay, okay Helen. So we're going to demo the Christmas tree or the firing? What do you fancy? Uh, the Christmas tree or what should we do? Should the we do Christmas the Christmas tree first and then do the yeah, firing? we'll do the Christmas tree first. Do you want me to go down the counter and then we'll come back? Yeah. So you get ready for the Christmas tree. I'll do that. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas <laughs> tree. How do 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 do. Uh, right, so plenty on the show for you. See, I'm excited. Um, now, the book, £15.99, has now sold out. So well done, everyone, that went for the book. Did you get some clay with the book as well? Yes. No way. I didn't know that. I'm ever so sorry, everybody. But you do. Well, I'm not sorry now, because you've got it. We've sold out. Well, oh, wow. The clay and the book. Magic. Love that. Not magic. Anyway, £15.99. 
has now sold out. But we do have lots of other items on the show. $28.99 is exceptional value for that Christmas tree kit. And that's what Helen is going to be demonstrating next. So you might want to shop ahead and get that in your basket because normally when we demonstrate any product that's when it starts to fly out so if you're thinking I really want to do that project maybe get that in your basket sit back relax and then watch the demonstrations that we've got coming up now we are talking about the right tools for the trade and that's what we've got maybe you're already using precious metal clay and you need to stock up maybe you're looking at this thinking I need this in my life. I need to start working with precious metal clay. I've not only got jewellery that I want to make myself, but I've got jewellery I want to make for my friends and my family. It might be, and here's the thing, making your own wedding rings. You can have them out of silver. It doesn't have to be out of gold. So you could make your own wedding ring, own engagement ring, uh, eternity ring. You'll have that forever until you give it away to the next person. Uh, no, I'm only kidding. Uh, so what we've got here is a fantastic kit for you. 698, so cynical, 447. It's only 19 pounds and 95 pence. But what you're getting here, again, is the right tools for the trade. So in order to work with your precious metal clay and to work with that and to have it released correctly, uh, you need the right balm, not Vaseline or anything like that. Uh, this is Badger's Balm for hard working hands. Yes, so you want to get hold of that. You've got your working mat as well you've also got your brushes which are included so you can actually paint these and then with that you're getting your teflon and you're getting your shaper as well so all of that 19 pounds and 95 pence and 698 10 of the stock has gone imagine making and creating these fantastic rings with this or it could be brooches and do you know what's interesting about this let me can i just show you these two together just to show you these two together, um, when you look at these, so we've got this brooch and we've got this necklace here. Instantly I came to these and I was like, oh my goodness, they're amazing, amazing. Uh, and when you look at those, do you know what they are? Pottery, pottery, bits of pottery, bits of plates now turned into jewellery. So if you break a plate at home, doesn't matter make it into jewelry that's my excuse for breaking my mum's expensive plate i'm gonna make it into jewelry uh, right so if you want to go for that kit it is six nine eight four four seven moving on we've got more with your projects you might want to add a little bit of texture uh, we've got the perfect kit for you right here and if you want to get hold of this you also get in your working mat which is beneficial to you you're getting your textured brass plate your textured mat spacer and roller set and you're also getting your pmc uh, mat as well so everything you need here to add to your texture you can use organic texture as well. We'll talk to Helen about that in a moment's time, um, uh, how you can add maybe a leaf from the garden and imprint that into your silver. It's amazing. But if you want to go for this, some lovely, lovely uh, texture. 10% of the stock of this has gone. It's 113631 if you want to go for that. Right, moving on, we've got more available for you. Um, and this is what we're going to be demonstrating next. This is fabulous, isn't it? I mean, just take a look at this Christmas tree. A quarter of the stock is already gone. So we're going to head to demonstration area very, very quickly. That's when they really start to go when we're demonstrating it. So I would, if I was you, shop ahead and get this in your basket. Relax and watch the demo. Uh, you do get the clay to make this. You get the whole kit. So you get the clay to make this, precious metal clay. You get the necklace as well. Beautiful chain. That is a gorgeous chain. Beautiful. Uh, you get the... I can't remember the name for the eyelets. Jump rings. jump rings, that's it, knew that. Just testing Helen there from afar. You get your jump rings, and if I lift this up, you also get the gems as well. And those gems will go into the Christmas tree. Um, quarter of the stock gone. It's lovely, isn't it? It's fabulous. Uh, make this, create it, and give it. Uh, and it is a gift that we'll keep giving because somebody might pass this down in the family. I think it's lovely, gorgeous, silver as well, and you're making it. Uh, 483692 if you want to go for this. We're heading back to Helen now for another fantastic demonstration with the tree. Right, we do have that firing block. Exceptional value for money this is. It really is. You need the right tools for the job. So with this, you are getting your basic firing kit. It is your butane gas torch and your firing block. 
I don't think there's anything basic about that. I think it's fantastic. £17.49. It is brand new today, but it's a Freedom price. It's the delivered price if you are a Freedom member of £15.74. Incredible value for money. We also have, oh, a quarter of the stock of that has gone. Busy show. Uh, we've also got the polishing kit available for you because your silver does need a good polish uh, to turn that precious metal clay from white into silver. It's amazing, isn't it? You learn so much. £17.49 if you want to go for that. 813073. Now, we are back with Helen and we're going to take a look at the Christmas tree, which so many of you are going for. It is. It is great Christmas tree. So, oh, and what we've got to do is I put the gemstones in the, in the, uh, the front of the piece, but if you fill in the back with a little bit of paste or leftover clay, you can actually make it reversible. Um, oh. So I forgot. Yes, I forgot to mention that. So is that one reversible? Yes, yes, yes. I, yes I'm just going to go yes, and get it. Sorry, I'll just leave you with Helen. <laughs> we'll just get it back. So in the meantime, what I'll show you is basically um, you've got enough clay in it. Oh, we're back again yes. here. So, so yeah. So you know, I've put the three little gemstones in it. You know, rubies, sapphires, diamonds. Aren't they just everybody's favourite gemstones? So I put one in each in. So whatever outfit you're wearing, it will sort of go with that, and they're subtle enough. Um, and if not, see what you can do is you can just uh, turn it over and place you know. one on the back yeah yes yes or just have it plain if you're wearing something else if you're wearing like a nice black outfit you know when it's when it's winter we're not quite there yet um then it's yeah. reversible so love that um, and it's of course it's already on the chain so all you do is just you know turn it around turn it around that's yeah. all it's really simple love that christmas tree with yeah. a bauble or christmas tree without a bauble <laughs> without, without a bauble because you are the bauble or with a bauble yeah, I thought, I thought, it's That's a, nice, a way, nice way of doing it. And the Christmas tree, it is a bit of a freestyle. So again, we're talking about the copyright earlier. Mm. Every Christmas tree will be different. So even if you make 10 of them, they will all look different. But I think that's nice. You want something that looks handmade and not mass produced. So we've got the clay here. Now to open the packet of clay, I know we get lots of people thinking, gosh, how do I get into the packet of clay? It just, you just pull it across the top. Yeah, so you just cut it, cut it, and what it comes, it comes into a resealable pouch. As you can see, it's very well made. Um, so if you get the clay out, so that's the, the colour of the clay, but you don't want to use it or you've got some left over, put it back in the pouch. You don't need any special containers. It comes in a really well made pouch, you know, and then what you do is you just put a little bit of water into the pouch or a little bit of a wet kitchen roll and then you can keep it like this. And I've kept mine for months and months. Now, yeah. the details at the bottom of your screen are for 16.7 grams of yes. your precious metal clay. And in that particular packet, is There's five point six. Five point six. So, so in for thirty one pounds and ninety nine pence, you get sixteen point seven. The packets that we're showing and demonstrating here have five point six. And just to give you an idea of what you can make, well, I, I reckon um, I could probably get four or five Christmas trees out of a sixteen gram packet. Really? Yes. Yes. And out of a little this one up, here, I could probably. Well, I probably could make one at least. I'll probably make a little bit thicker. You can make it bigger. You could know, you make you a ring out of it? Yes, that would make enough to make a band ring. Not quite as wide as this one, Let but that go. size ring, slightly thinner. Yes, yes, I could make a ring Just out to give of you that. a bit of perspective on what you can make and create. Yes. It is incredible value for money. Imagine selling a silver ring. <laughs> you know, you put whatever price you want on it because you make it personalised, don't you? I think it's fantastic. So 16.7 uh, grams you will be getting for £31.99. So, right, so we talked about earlier saying you, you don't need to buy a lot of kit. Now, now here's my badger bomb. It's a bit like my rubber block. Do I really, you know, as you can see, this has been going, I've probably had this well over here, if not two years. Really? So, again, you use a tiny, tiny amount of it. You know, that, that's almost like a lifetime supply. There is a larger tub that we normally sell, but I say to people, is you don't need as much. as well? Oh, yes, it gives you lovely hands. Yes, of course, you can have a little bit, yeah. So, so you literally put that on your hands as the release agent. Ooh. Now, I've taken off my rings as you can see um, and I try and keep my nails short so you don't sort of stab the silver I use the palms of my hands just to get it into a smooth ball as you can see there is nothing left on the piece of plastic here you really do use every scrap of the silver so I put it into a ball 
And now in the kit is a snake roller. Now, snake rollers, and, and as you can see, we have them cut to fit the palm of your hand, so they're comfy in the palm of your hand, and they are polished at the end, so you're not going to cut yourself or anything. And again, you know, they'd last forever. So what you're going to do, I I see that on the workshop is here, and the great thing about the Perspex is that you can see through it. And I'm just going to roll it out. Now, with the, with the coil, was there a bit of water left over from the, <laughs> on the other thing? Let me draw, roll it up again, so it just shows you can roll it up again. So don't be afraid, you know, of the clay, you know. It, it's not going to dry out. Uh, although, you know, if you're going to start working, get your work surface ready, and then... I've got half of the water, oh, that water from that rubber block earlier. That was... <laughs> <laughs> you want another mat to work No, with? it's okay, I'll turn it over. There we go. Oh, the joys of live TV, isn't it, really? So, right, let me just get this one out. There you, so, there you go. So, with the coil, you roll it out thinner than you think you need it. So, I'm going to take a piece off. So, I'm going to take about a, a third off here. Now, another tip is when you've got the Badger Balm, Use the lid as a rehydrator while you're working. So put a little bit of water in it, put it over the top, and then if you need to add clay to it, you've got it there and then you don't have to go and find your packet or whatever. Holds it really well. Yeah, it is, the Flex is just great. It really is a, um, a great product. Gosh. It's so much easier than using your fingers to roll it. Because that well, you don't get it thins smooth. it down in the middle, doesn't it? So actually what I'm going to do... So I've got my little Christmas tree. Of course, you can draw another design, but I thought the Christmas tree was quite cute. And so I've got plenty to go around. I've got some more there to do the bottom. Actually, I'm going to make it a bit smaller again. You know what? I could probably get two Christmas trees out of this. Yeah, you probably could. <laughs> it depends on how thin you make that Christmas yeah. tree. And you don't want it too chunky. You need to have enough to put the gemstones in it. Right, so... I've got it rolled out here. I've got my paintbrush at the ready with a little cup of water. And the paintbrush that comes into kit, all you do is you, you get it and you think, oh, it's a bit of a, a dodgy paintbrush, but all you need to do is just put it into water. It's got some sort of glue on it to keep the paintbrush in a nice shape. Um, and then what you do is you just roll it a little bit of water over it. Now, as you can see, what it will do is it will absorb the water and it means that you've got some time to play with it so it doesn't crack. So here I've got the little laminated card and I'm going to start with the top of my Christmas tree here. Now where's that nice little clay shaper? Oh, mine's covered in, <laughs> much in use as they say, <laughs> covered in silver. But yeah, they're just handy, these little clay shapers. And it means you can just move it around. So you can move it around using the paintbrush and the clay shaper that you, you get in the kit anyway. So whatever your favourite tool is, you know, everybody does it sort of slightly differently. So I'm going to mush, move it together. Now here I've seen it, I've got a little stab in it and you just use the water, works as an eraser. So you can get anything smooth out of it. And anything that you've got, you know, don't forget, you're just trying to get the basic shape at this point. It's like working with dough, isn't it? You wet <laughs> the dough, you manipulate it, you move it. Yes, it is, yeah, yes. The most important thing is patience. Yeah. Right, let me do you have a lot in. of patience, Anne? No, I don't actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's probably why I like PMC. Like, I know exactly what it's going to look like. If I don't like it, I just scrunch it up and start again. Yes. I think that's the beauty of it because yes. you know you, you you put together your shape, you look at it and you go, hmm, no. just want to do something a little bit different. You scrunch it up, you start again, and when you're happy yeah. with it, that's when you can start firing it. Yeah. See, so now this one's going to be really quite. I obviously used more clay than this one. And I just scoop the extra bit off. Now, when you've got little scraps, okay, mm. this is clay. That, because I'm working with the wet clay, I would always put it back into the yeah. pack clay. I don't make paste. But should I have left it out for any reason, I have a little pot. And what I do is I just put the excess clay in here with a little bit of water and give it a stir. And that's the sort of paste that you'd use for joining things together, for glue, or whatever. But with the flex, to be honest, it holds together very well with water. I tend to just use water. Right, so here we go now, we've just got to do the other side. And as you can see, even here on the studio lights, it's not drying out, you know, it's... Yeah, and we've got hot lights here in the studio. Yeah, we don't wear out, yes. Make it more. 
So this is your Christmas tree kit, and with the Christmas tree kit, you get the clay, you get the mm. necklace, you get the gems, you get the... The chain, yeah, 18-inch chain, so it's a nice And length. those ram ring things. The, uh, the jump rings. The jump rings, I need to remember that. The jump rings as well. The whole complete kit to make and create the Christmas tree. But as Helen said, if you make the Christmas tree slightly thin, yeah. Uh, you possibly might be able to make two, but the kit is there to make one. Uh, you get everything you need. It's going to be a wonderful present. It is going to be silver, £28.99 for that kit. Think about going out to those luxury stores, those unique jewellery stands, and think about how much you would pay for an item like this that's already made up as a special gift. You know, you probably wouldn't think twice about, as a special gift, paying something like £50 for it for somebody. But at this price, it's a great price and you're making it yourself. You could even sell it if you want to. Yes. Uh, now, also, when we talked about hallmarking, so anything less than 7.78 grams of silver, you can sell as... Uh, find silver without having to have it hallmarked so that's the handy thing about these pack size as well is that you know that this is 5.5 grams of fired silver so there's two weights on the pack okay. the gross weight is the clay weight and the net weight is the fired silver weight so you know that's going to make five grams of finished silver okay oh that's good that's interesting i wondered why there was two uh, weights on there so because of that uh, you don't have to um add a hallmark no you don't it's exempt but you can sell it as fine silver can we just quickly talk about hallmarks yeah yeah because if you're making anything over five grams i remember for 31 pounds and 99 pence you're getting 16 point yeah is it? it's per grams? item so right um so the hallmarking yes because we can talk about that there's there's the yeah. hallmarking card here so this is the um hallmarking or the dealer's notice and you can download this free of charge so if you're selling your work so you want to sell your christmas trees you just go to one of the four uk assay office websites and this one is from birmingham as you you can see there's the anchor at the top you can download this free of charge you print it off in a4 and you have that as your uh, on your display to prove that you can buy it as fine silver so you can see um, and if you want to so, and it tells you the exemption weight at the bottom is 7.78 grams so if you questioned you can refer to this. this is the official notice that you should have on display we have four independent assay offices in the UK uh, we've got the leopard there if you can I'm not sure that left or right is on the camera here <laughs> uh, so the, the not on the uh, the opposite side of the AB. So we've got the London Leopard. There we go. We've got the Anchor for Birmingham. We've got the gorgeous uh, Tudor Rose for Sheffield, and we've got the little Castle for Edinburgh. So you can uh, register with any SA office. Anybody can register. Uh, you don't have to be a silversmith. You just uh, register your maker's mark. So in the display here, that's an AB. So that's your initials or the first three letters of your company name. Um, and yeah, so you can use that, and then you can hallmark your pieces as well. You know, if you want to make something that's only three grams, you can hallmark it. Yeah. Uh, and I would use the, the the 3D laser hallmark and it's quite nice to have your initials on it's something exciting, isn't it? it is isn't personal it? and the maker's mark is unique to you mm. and you have it for about 10 years I think so exciting uh, right we continue oh, we've got with the tree yeah, our Christmas tree that's yes. been abandoned here now as you can see we've, we've stepped away with it so to stop the clay from drying out I've just put my snake roller on top of it or you know that piece of Teflon that we had earlier just put a piece of Teflon on top and it stops it drying out so right so I've got quite a chunky Christmas tree here. That's nice. You see, I could have done two, couldn't I? So, all right. So here we go. So now what I've done is I've just joined this with a little bit of uh, water. And we've got my little cutter here. So, right. I think this would be great for the grandkids as well during the summer holidays. Because the clay is, is, is easy yeah. to manipulate, they could make and create their very own unique shape. It might be that they, how about this, it might be that you get them to draw something, maybe draw you, uh, or the dog, or something like oh, that. Oh, I've got a great one somebody brought in, it was a Peppa Pig. Oh. Well, a sort of, I wasn't sure whether it was a Peppa Pig or a Hedgehog, but oh. it was very cute. As long as you've got a nice black and white outline, yeah. it, it's brilliant to do. So yeah. imagine perhaps their first drawing that they do. It doesn't matter what it's like, does it? it could be, they could draw a flower, for example. But the very first drawing, and you get that clay, and you go round the outline, and you fire it up. You've got a piece of jewellery, silver, 
That's their very first drawing, and that's something you'll keep forever, and you can maybe give back to them when they're 21, or not keep for yourself. Yes, that'd be very cute, yeah. So there's two ways to do the loop. Now, on the Christmas tree demonstration I've got there, all I did was literally pick up a coil and and I just wrapped it round, because you can do, because, of course, it won't stick to this. So I've literally looped it round like that. And again, use that paintbrush and the water. So this is a slightly neater one to the one I did there because I made that one last Wednesday when it was 33 degrees. I wouldn't mm -hmm. recommend it. <laughs> and there's that loop at the top that Helen's talking yeah. about. So here, and you can just literally integrate that. And we've got about 15 minutes left oh on God, the show. I don't know where so the quick. time goes. Okay, I'll speed up, I'll speed okay. up. And Will we have enough time to fire it? Yeah, we have to fire, don't we've we? We've got to fire it up, Otherwise. yes. Right, here we go, some extra bits there. Very busy for this, it's, it's brilliant. 483692, you get the whole kit to make and create your very own Christmas tree, which um, you can add detail to or take detail away. And yours will be better than the one that I'm quickly demoing here. But it is such a cute little tree and you can make it taller and skinny. And you think this is the same template I'm using. So you're going to see how different my Christmas trees are. Mm. Here we go. And you could just pick this up with your hands. You know, yeah. it is just... So what I did was I made the loop here. Oh, and the good thing about this show as well, this will be on YouTube. So if you're getting the kit and you're worried that you might not be able to remember it all, um, it will be on the Hachanda YouTube channel as well. Fantastic. You so, can also watch this show on Rewind as well yeah. um, after the show, but yeah, if, you, if you want to. Right, so I've done this. I've cut off the excess. Okay, and then we'll just stick this on. Do we need to leave it to dry before we? Yes, dust absolutely. It? it is really important that the piece is completely dry. So, so anyway, you get the idea. I'm sure yours at home will be better than mine. Well, and that's look, great. You see how much clay I've got left over. Yeah. And this is quite a, a hefty uh, little Christmas tree mm. compared to the other one. So yes. So okay, I'm just going to go to the next step. When we did the, um, the Hachanda Road Show in Kent, and I asked people, what would you like me to do on the show? And they said, well, can you do more with gemstones? So hence we've got some more gemstones. Just there. And I've I've managed to there we go. They've got little sapphire, got the ruby. And they uh, come included. They are included. And again, are you they know proper they're and ruby. Well, they're synthetic sapphires okay. and rubies. So they're not cubic zirconias, these. So that means that they are produced in a lab. So yeah. they're like a perfect sapphire and a ruby. So the same chemical composition. Oh, okay. And we seem to have lost what you need? our little diamond. But don't worry, I'll put the first two in. Who's got the we only diamond? got 15 minutes here. Yes, um, Where's the spot? How small and, is the diamond? Another thing, there's glitter here from another show as well. But uh, don't worry, I'm we'll get these ones in. I've got a diamond here just to oh, see yes. Oh, yes. That's okay. how small the diamond is. And then it's the same one. Yeah, so they're two millimeter gemstones. Again, if you're torch firing, you're not sure, then you can fire them again and again. Yeah, okay. and they will always go back to their natural color. So don't worry about the ruby turning a different color because okay. pinks and reds are, can be a bit uh, dangerous. How long do we need to leave it to dry before we can fire it? I would leave this to dry well to d in a day like this, probably about <coughs> a couple of hours, but leave it overnight okay. or something. Leave it overnight. So what you would do is you would leave this to dry fill it in the edges with the paste, use your little bit of sandpaper to get it lovely and smooth, yep. and then we fire it. Okay, so. Do we have anything we can fire today? Yes, we do. Fantastic. We do. Yes. Shall I run down the counter Shall and... I just do, shall I quickly do the gemstones? Oh, yes, so sorry. See. So with the gemstones, use a pair of tweezers, look at the gemstones, so you'll, you'll see, here you go. So you've got the pointy bit down, that's the culette, so you want the top of the gemstone to be, so, so you look a little fat bit for your um, a fat bit in the Christmas tree. And what you're doing is you're pressing it down. So you're pressing it down into the wet clay. So press it down into the wet clay. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the table off the stone, the top of the stone, level with the clay or slightly below in this case. So you see? And then the thing to do is to make sure that you have it all cleaned up. So when you come to the sanding bit, that you clean it all up so you don't leave any PMC on the gemstones because of course that, that will permanently Sorry, attach. Come on, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, so here we go. So here's just an example of the gemstone. Shall I pop the other one in as well? Then yeah. we've got the full house. And you can put them wherever you like, you know, just because I I've put them in this order doesn't mean that you have to do that as well. There we go, and we got this bit like 
What's that? What's that game where you've got the the operation, isn't it? Feels oh, a bit, it feels a bit like operation. Somebody bought that for me for Christmas. I love it. <laughs> Operate, can I have a go? That's two hundred pounds to me. I remember all the lines from the advert. Oh, really? <laughs> With the mum coming down the stairs. Operate, <laughs> can I have a go? There goes his funny bone. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? The things you remember. <sighs> right. So here we are. So this is where you've got them in. Right. At least we've finished the Christmas tree then. And then simply you get all the different size jump rings. I've used the smaller one in the kit, but you know what it's like. So you get your pliers. We're going to be so tight on this show. So you've got your two pliers. Always open the jump ring sideways. So you yep. twist the jump ring, put it on and just close it. And then you've got this lovely chain that already has a clasp and everything and on it. And that's what the gems will look like or possibly could look like when you pop them into your Christmas tree. I'll just show the tree there with the gems in because you've seen them placed into the tree. I've got this lovely tree and that's what they look like when they're in. So they really do um, lift that tree, don't they? It just adds a bit of interest to it, yeah, doesn't it? Because does. you want people to look at your piece and then, because the first thing someone's going to do is A, ask them, did you make this yourself? Hopefully they shouldn't say that. You say, no, I bought it in a very expensive shop. And then the thing is that you've got that little bit of interest on closer inspection. It's like adding that hint of texture on the brass yeah. plate on the back of your piece. Because that's the first thing somebody does. Is they look at your piece, turn it over, and they go, oh, they've got a nice finish on that. Love yeah. that. Yeah. Right, whilst we let you get set up for a firing, uh, we're going to show you more items that we've got on the website. It is the best place to buy, so you can get everything into your basket. And remember, if your products come to £60 or more that you're selecting and choosing, you can open up a flexi order, which means we'll split the cost equally for you. You might want to go for the uh, PMC Studio Hand Drill and Filing Set. It's only £22.49. We have sold out of the book, by the way. Um, so it means that that has actually gone. We do have the square cutters for you uh, and the triangle the set of five. They're only £10.99 pence if you want to go for those. Uh, right, so let's talk about that Christmas tree because we are very, very busy. You've just seen it being demonstrated there. Uh, it is a beautiful design, but what makes it extra special is that you're, you are going to make it and then you're going to keep it for yourself. You're going to wear it at your Christmas parties, parties uh, and people can say, oh my goodness, where did you get that from? And you can say, well, I made it myself. Or what you can do is buy two or three sets and wear this to your Christmas party and have people say, oh my goodness, where did you get that from? And you can say, I'll make you one, but I'll charge you. Uh, so you can make and create your own jewellery. It really is amazing. You can, of course, make it, create it and just give it away if you wish. £28.99. It's exceptional value for money. This is silver. You get the chain included, everything, including the gems as well. Uh, I've just taken the gems over to Helen. If I just grab that back, Helen, yes. if you don't mind. Um, so you get your gems included. You get the rings, the jump rings, there you go, I remembered, and you get the necklace as well. It's a gorgeous necklace. And you get the template and the clay, the precious metal clay, to turn this into silver, which is amazing, isn't it? Uh, so if you do want to go for that, there's your item number on the screen, 483692. Right, what we've also got available for you is... Do you know, I have no idea what's my right and left. And the poor guys upstairs are going, to your right, Janice. And I'm thinking, I don't know which is my right and which is my left. And then they go, it's camera left. And I go, oh, I still don't know. <laughs> um, so apologies for that. Apologies for that. Uh, right, it, here's something else for you. 24 99 again, exceptional value for money. This is your creative kit. With this, you get your textured brass mat. You get your roller mat in here. You also get your spacer uh, included. So if you want to go for this, it is 113631 is your item number. And then your essentials, of course, something else that you can go for. With your essentials, it is the right tools for the job, and that's exactly what you need. So you've got your badger balm. I love that. Badger balm. And we're up to uh, a quarter of the stock has gone already of this. £19.95 if you want to go for this. Uh, let's go back to the demonstration because we'd like to see that firing up now to see how we go from the precious metal clay over to the silver uh, and this is what we're going to use we are going to use this fantastic 
firing kit. It is your butane gas torch and firing block. It's brand new today and a great price at £17.49. But if you are a Freedom member, it gets even better. And you can have this at a delivered price to you for £15.74. It's amazing, isn't it? 137208. Hello, Helen. Here we are again. So, yes, and our... So, We've got four minutes, about three and a half minutes I know, left. we're going to go for it. So here's the piece that uh, we made earlier. I think this is one of the demo pieces we did on the last show. Yes. And I've quickly just put this drill back together. So you know the drill that we had earlier? So I just wanted to show you, you can take the top off here, you can put your drill bits in so you don't lose them. And they just literally just file into the collet. So to drill your hole, you use your rubber block that we had earlier, you put it on the rubber block when your piece is dry and you just twist it. There's no pressure there at all and it goes straight through. Brilliant. So you've got your lovely hole so you can hang your jump ring on um, after firing. So always drill your hole before firing. Don't forget the precious metal clay is going to shrink 10 to 15 percent so make your hole a little bit bigger. Okay. You've got the torch there to fill the torch up. It's just a normal butane uh, lighter fuel that you get from your cigarette counter. Yep. You literally press it down like this once it's filled up and when it's full it overflows. So it's as simple as that. Right, now... Oh, we stunned away at this point. Uh, that's, that's not a flag. <laughs> you to point I, it that no, way. <laughs> so I, I'm an old person, so I still use a timer. If you're a young person, you use your phone. OK. Set it for two minutes. OK, yep. and we've got two minutes left of the show. Oh, gosh, we're going to go for it. Yep. And then, so, we just need to turn the lights. Yes, oh, it's all happening here. OK, let me just get it on. Why is Are we going to dim the lights a little bit? Yeah, otherwise Ooh. we're not going to see it, but... Okay, Exciting. so it's going to go through its different stages. So I know this is completely dry, so make sure it's completely dry. If not, it's going to bubble. You don't want that. So here we go. So here's my block again. You can see, you know, you buy once and you use it forever. So the first thing that's going to do, you can see it turns a little bit black. That's the dirt burning off. And there's the binder turning off. Now, the binder is just a non-toxic cellulose. So don't worry about it. OK, if you're going to do a lot, open a window, but, you know, it's not going to kill you. We are approaching half... That's good to know. We are approaching <laughs> half the stock of this set gone. If you're a Freedom member, it's an excellent price. It's only 17 49 if you're not a Freedom member, but you are getting the butane gas torch and the firing block. You will need to buy the butane um, filler um, if you want to go for this. But you can see that now uh, starting to turn so you can from see that white. So curling. Um, so it will always curl. So it just means what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the piece heated up before you set the two-minute timing. So this is not part of the firing process. Now, there's one minute left on the show, about the same on our clock. Yeah, OK. And you can now see that starting to change colour. Can you see the orange? And the flame yeah. turned colour. So this is where you set your timer for the two minutes and you keep that heat for two minutes. So when you're doing your Christmas tree, just keep, keep moving the flames. So the whole Christmas tree is heated. Don't worry if the stones change colour. They will revert back to its next colour. Just don't quench your gemstones after firing. Amazing. Well, you can have so much fun with this when you get this home. Making and creating your own silver jewellery. Helen, we've had so much fun. I want to thank you yet again uh, for coming in and showing us all this. It's absolutely fantastic. Yep. And uh, please do go for this at home and have so much fun. Hopefully we'll see you soon, Helen. Yes, I think back in August, aren't we? Fantastic. Yep. Uh, in the meantime, stay where you are because we've got more coming.